Welcome to NSC Taman. Today we're taking a look at the moon and Jupiter. Very close to each other. Mind you, I'm using a Nikon Nikkor 300mm f2.8. I'm going to darken that up a little bit. I apologize for the way it looks right now, but you know, the moon is so bright and with a magnitude of minus 12. And Jupiter is like a magnitude of like, well, something minus two. It's very hard to see these two together um, with a camera. Because the camera cannot. Uh, so there you go, all the way to the left corner on the bottom is the moon. The right hand corner is Jupiter. All right, folks, and uh, if there's, you gotta remember, uh, where was I? I don't even know where I am. The moon is a magnitude of minus 12, and the uh, Jupiter is something like a magnitude of minus 2.3 or something like that. I'm not sure, I haven't checked. Um, I'm just going by information years ago, and I don't, I don't know if that's exact, because I haven't checked. But with the difference in magnitude, it's going to be very hard to photograph the moon and Jupiter at the same time. You can photograph the moon, and then you can photograph Jupiter, or you can photograph the moon and Jupiter, and then everything will be overlit, over over bright. Like, let me show you. You see, now you'll be able to see Jupiter, a little tiny dot, and the moon. They're both lit up, but there's no there's no detail. You can't see any detail. And the darker you go, the more detail you get of the moon, the less detail you see of Jupiter, and it kind of like disappears. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm only testing out the Nikon Nikkor 300mm f2.8. And uh, uh, I just wanted to see it, man. You know, I just wanted to see it. Um, in order to see re de real detail, of Jupiter and its four moons, you need, I think, a 500 mil or more, you know, or basically a field scope would be really good too as well, a nice field scope with a big wide 82 millimeter, you know, and uh, minimum 82 millimeter, but you'll be able to see what the moon is and the four moons, but to see real deal to see real detail of the Jupiter, of Jupiter, you know. Um, I think you're gonna need at least a minimum of six inch scope. Um, that's a six inch diameter mirror, or a minimum of a four and a half inch um, diameter of, of a lens. Put it this way, you're gonna be spending big money. <laughs> Just, either way. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, folks, and uh, I just want to show you what I can do, and hopefully you guys get out there and do the same. Uh, this is for like 4 o'clock in the morning, about maybe 10 past 4, and uh, you know what I mean? But, I mean, I think I have Venus on one side and Jupiter on the other. I mean, it's just incredible. It's, it's just incredible. Beautiful sky early in the morning. Early, early in the morning. Let me show you how early it really is. Look at that. Early in the morning. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, folks. You guys, uh, you guys take care of yourselves. All right? Oh, there it goes. There, you see the seagulls are out. There they are. All right, night-night.